Peace. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Hey Rita. Peace everybody. How's everybody doing? <laughs> hey, S. Shima 77. How y'all doing? Welcome. Okay, so today we went to the farmer's market. And it's something that we always do on Sundays or a couple of times a week. And so we got a lot of stuff. And so I wanted to show you all the different types of fruits and vegetables that we got it's been a minute since i've been on live but i wanted to come in and show you what i've been up to and also i wanted to talk to you guys about harvester market but first let me show you what i got okay and we got like two bags of stuff like like two bags oh goodness it's huge of pr produce and the first thing we got is an avocado Yes, these big ass avocados. And how many do we get of these? Just one? You just got one avocado? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got this big avocado. And these type of avocados are really buttery. But I don't really like the buttery ones. I like when they're mixed between butter and kind of watery, like a nice blend. Hey, everybody come into the room. And then in the end, I'll show you like all the different stuff that we got. And then we got some star fruit. Has anybody ever had star fruit? Star fruit is one of my favorite fruits as well. It's very citrusy. And when you cut it, the reason why it's called a star fruit, because when you cut it, it looks like a little star. And it's really good. It makes really great juice. Hey, such a Pisces. And how many we got? I think he got like three of it. Three star fruits. Yeah. Who's had a star fruit? And next, we got some. This is probably one of my favorite fruits. Um, is mango stings. Has anybody ever had a mango sting? Well, if you're in the States, you probably won't be able to get a mango sting because these foods are actually illegal in the United States. And the reason why they are illegal it's because there's a bug that likes these and if the bug comes into the states it can really do damage to other crops so they just will not allow this fruit to come into the states but if you ever go to the tropics and you see this fruit please do yourself a favor and get some it's because it, when you crack it open it looks like a garlic bulb but it tastes really juicy and sweet it's like one of my favorite fruits and someone said um let's see I'm gonna just ask you eat eggs. I actually don't eat eggs anymore, but Rambo actually eats eggs and look at this. Where'd you do the eggs from? Oh, they put it in the refrigerator. He got some farm fresh eggs. He went to the market and someone had a farm and they brought their eggs. And so he eats the actual eggs from the farm because you gotta be really careful with the eggs in the grocery stores because they pump the chickens up with all kind of um, antibiotics and Lord knows what else and so the, the eggs that you're eating at the grocery store aren't really very good even though they call them cage free eggs but you don't really know what they're doing to the chickens but he had got some eggs that the farmer actually brought from his chickens and he got that and then I had some tomatoes and these tomatoes are homegrown. I love the tomatoes here. They're very sweet. They actually grow them here. Okay, so let's see. Welcome everybody to the room. Welcome. Oh, and here's another mango thing. All right. And then we have some carrots. And I love these heirloom carrots because they're all different colors. Carrots aren't supposed to just be orange. They can be all different colors. And you've got the tan carrots, the orange carrots, the purple carrots. If I can't open, I'm not going to open it up. But you got, it's like a little bouquet of carrots. 
Oh, somebody said tomatoes actually produce mucus, I heard, so they can be bad too. Well, instead of going off of what you heard, J Squad, have you ever ate a tomato? And when you ate the tomato, did you get mucus? And I'm glad that, um, what's his name? Or what's her name? J Squad said that because a lot of our belief systems, and this is a segue, okay? <laughs> Mama Serenity is back, okay? Um, we have to be careful basing our information and our beliefs on what we heard. You know, we should use our common sense. You should actually use experience and be like, okay, when I eat the tomato, does it give me mucus? Because the main thing you said was you heard, but you never said when I eat the tomato, it gives me mucus. Now, anytime I've eaten a tomato, it has never given me mucus. But a lot of our belief systems that we are holding on to is because we're going on the internet and we're reading some type of article because somebody said, and so all of a sudden, because somebody said it is found in gospel of our life. We have to be very careful, especially in this information age, with the information that we're holding on to and calling it truth okay because a lot of this stuff is just made up and me and Rambo were talking about well who made all this stuff up I said who made who said who said that we should be doing this and we should be doing that this is right and this is wrong and I said that famous group that we all talk about that famous group that we all know that we're always mentioning and that group is they they said it so if they said it then it must be true they did it you know what I mean <laughs> so it's like we have to really use our own intuition and our own common sense and also science to back up our belief systems because a lot of the stuff that we're just believing is because we're just going along with the bandwagon you know and so all different types of foods that we say that we're not going to eat all different types of things that we say we're not going to do because they said it or because you heard but it's not really based on any actual facts or truth it's not based on your own experience you know so i just really wanted to uh say that because i get it to me all the time with the different foods that i eat that people are like well it's poison especially with garlic a lot of people say they don't eat garlic because it's poison because one person said garlic is poison now everybody's saying garlic is poison but have you ever been poisoned by garlic have you ever had a side effect from garlic have you had any side effect from a lot of these foods that people are saying that are mucus um, building or whatever and did you know that your body actually produces mucus your body needs it your lymphatic system produces mucus so it can push the toxins so it can clean your blood so we really need to start educating ourselves to what is actual facts based on a belief system from somebody that said something that you don't even know and you don't even know if it really affected them in the way that they're saying it okay so that's just my little side note so anyway, and so next, oh, this this avocado is going to be, um, it's already soft. Yeah, so we got she more had avocados. Huh? She gave me one for free. Oh, she did? Oh, and the person gave this to him for free. The people at performance markets are really nice. So we got this avocado. All right. And then one of my favorite things that I've been eating all, all summer and this time since I've been here is I haven't had it in a while but I've, now that I'm eating it I am loving it and that is pineapples yes and look at this pineapple isn't it cute I call her Laquita she's my she's my friend Laquita every time I see like a pineapple I think of like this beautiful black woman with this fantastic hairstyle that she just got her hair done and this is like like a pineapple but yes pineapples and we got like four pineapples and i will say this about pineapples and i think that we some of us can agree you have to be careful with the pineapples that you eat because the majority of the pineapples that they sell in the grocery store are the yellow pineapples and those are very acidic and when i say acidic when you eat it it literally burns your mouth you can only eat a few pieces of that pineapple and before you know it your mouth is burning and you can't eat anymore so you have to be very selective with the pineapples that you that you buy. And the pineapples that Rambo and I buy, we buy the white pineapple. And you can also find different varieties of pineapples in the tropics. That's why I love living in the tropics because you have a variety of a lot of different fruits. You know, did you know that avocados, there's like over 40 some varieties of avocados and there's like 
a ton of varieties of mangoes and a ton of varieties of pineapple but in the grocery store you only get one variety and it's that yellow variety that most of us cannot eat so yeah i've been loving these white pineapples like i said we got like four of them because him and i can't eat a pineapple in one sitting i can eat a pineapple in one sitting okay <laughs> And then next we got some Ramatons. Look at these. And they're still on the stick. And these um, fruits grow everywhere here in Hawaii. So for anybody that's coming into the room, we are actually on the big island of Hawaii. And there's fruit that just grows in abundance here. And this is one of them. See? And so we got a bag of those. And then, oops, and then we have mangoes. Look at this mango, y'all. <laughs> yes, it's the size of my head. It really is. I know. See? Look how big this mango is. And it's so good. They call this the Kona King Mango. And me and Brembo only buy these every once in a while because they can kind of be a little expensive. The, the price that we pay for these, you can get maybe like two or three more mangoes. But this wasn't a bad price today. But yes, it's, isn't this a big mango? And it's so good and it's so juicy. I mean, and this is this is a small one compared to how big they usually grow. These mangoes usually grow almost the size of a little uh, cantaloupe or a honeydew or something. They're, they're huge. We should cut one over. You should cut. Oh, you, you, yeah, because you're just hungry. Oh, Bramble's going to cut it open so y'all can see. But yeah, he's hungry, so he's probably going to eat it. And I'm going to eat with him. Okay. <laughs> and then we got some more of these and the thing that i love about the place that we get our mangoes is that the guy has all different types of mangoes and so he has like a bowl of each mango cut up so you can taste the mango and i promise you you don't realize how delicious each mango and how different the taste of a mango is until you taste all different types of mangoes is it a good one and then these are some of my favorite mangoes I don't even remember the name of them. And then this is the last mango. And he's about to show y'all what the mango looks like. Okay. Talking about it like oh my god, yes. Okay, here he comes, here he comes. You gotta get in the light, you gotta get in the light. It gotta shine. Look at that, y'all. <gasps> Look at that goodness, oh my goodness. And then he loves mangoes. Everybody's asking about the baby. I'll okay. see y'all the baby right now. He's chilling. He let me do this live. This so I'm not going to bother him. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's a lot. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Mmm. Me and Rambo said we going to come on, um, we going to come on live one day and just eat fruit in front of y'all. <laughs> and let y'all know what it tastes like. Look, the numbers already went up because we eating fruit. Mmm. I don't um, mm. This is just half of it. Y'all, it's so good. It makes me happy. I don't know about y'all, but when I eat fruit, really delicious fruit, when I'm, especially in the tropics, eating tropical fruit in the tropics, it makes me happy. Oh my gosh, it really does. Because you can get some of this fruit at the grocery stores in the States. But it ain't nothing like in the sunshine. You know we're in the house. But it ain't nothing like being in the the same environment where the fruit has, you know, grown and picked and then eat it right then and there. Because the guy, he picks the mangoes and brings to the market and sells it. Like he's so, he's super nice. He's a really nice guy. He always gives us like something for free. Oh mmm. 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 Let's do the mango dance. Mm. And Zen, he loves mangoes. Like he really does. I'm so happy. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Somebody said I hate mangoes, but y'all making it look so good. How can you hate mangoes? Oh. Sunny D Cake said nice. we gotta block you, Sunny D Cake. You, you, you ain't on the frequency. You you block. You block. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. So y'all gotta eat this. Mmm. It's so juicy and so sweet. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. You know you gotta. Oh, you gonna cut the other half? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Save me some rainbow because rainbow love mangoes. Mmm. 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 
I'll, I'll suck on that later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there you go, there you go. Look at that. That's a big ass piece of meat. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That looks that is just amazing. It's just gold. That's, that's a it's lot liquid of, gold in your hand. That's a lot right of right? meat on it. That's know. a lot of meat. And this is meat. And this is the meat we really should be eating. You know. Cause we don't eat enough we don't eat enough fruit, you know, in our diet. You probably won't ever see me show y'all not meat or anything. I do eat a little fish sometimes but you not want to see me on my channel talking about that because y'all eat enough meat out there what we need to be focused on the most is eating our fruits and vegetables and learning different ways of how we can do that and incorporate it and that's really important to me okay ah. uh, come to Hawaii and eat ah. these mangoes okay y'all okay okay I need a napkin okay <laughs> Mm-hmm. Thanks, babe. Oh, come on. Okay, that's what y'all saying. You said even the bad mango. I'm gonna show y'all the baby right now. I'm doing this live and he's letting me. That's why y'all don't really see me go live because I really be focused with Zen and Zen is number one. And so sometimes I can't come on live. I had to tend to him and now he's in his playpen that um our friend, one of our subscribers, have gifted him, so he's chilling right now. Yeah, hey, Black Girl Reading. Oh, you did Purple Heart Studios? Thank you, Red Lady Lisa. Okay. All right. So, next is, you can't, you got to have your greens. You can eat your fruits, but you got to make sure that you eat your greens because greens, look at that. Greens is where we get our calcium from it's where we get the oxygen in our blood you know we need oxygen in our blood yes it comes through our lungs and in and out but the certain foods provide it cleans our blood so make sure you're eating your greens and these are some kale greens and what i do with that i might saute them up or usually i like to put them in soups they're really good in soups and then i have green onion and these are really easy to grow, green onion. Okay, got more green onion. And then these are one of my favorite, okay, hold on. So now I got the little pineapple, look at the little pineapple. Look at it, look. And so they call this sweet, baby sweet white pineapple. And they really are, it's like candy. And it's like that big, you know, I have different sizes, but yeah. Um, the pineapple here is delicious um, and then like I said it's not as acid based it's sweet you can eat as much as you want and it won't burn your tongue okay just a couple more. oh good miss yaya too she said my hemoglobin is so low I just bought a bunch of kale and spinach and make sure you eat a lot of foods with red because you know color holds certain vibrations and so make sure you eat a lot of foods that, with antioxidants Eat a lot of berries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. Eat your beets. You know, if you have a juicer, make some beet juice, you know, with a little carrot and apple in it. Or if you like to stew your beets, you know, eat it away or eat it raw, I don't know. But make sure you eat in foods with color that reminds you, you know, of blood. I know, I know that sounds morbid. But you got to just think about the certain vibrations, but also the greens. Make sure you're eating your greens, okay? And then I have a bag of... Now this is one of, okay, it's a, a bag of fruit, okay? This is one of my new favorite fruits. And they call it, what, the ice cream? The ice cream fruit, but it looks like like a bean, like a bean pod. Um, let me see if I can open it. But to me, it tastes like cotton candy. It has the texture of cotton candy, and it looks like cotton candy. So I don't know, I can't open it. Um, so I don't know. I'm back, finally. <laughs> The connection went out, so. Yeah, wait for some people to come back in the room. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Hey, everybody wants to see you. Yeah. Yeah, everybody wants to see little man. Yes, they do. Look how it is. <laughs> Say hey. How you doing, Mrs. Zen? How you doing? 
You got anything to say to the people? How's your day going? Hmm? How you doing? How you doing? Hmm? How you doing today? That's feeling good? You tell me you had some mango today? And you liked it? Yeah. Say welcome everybody. <laughs> that's you pretty boy. That's you. That's what you look like. Yeah, that's your reflection. Yeah, okay. What does that what does that say? Chalada de ma Chulada de Maiz Prieto. What does that mean? Like beautiful, um like dark corn. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful dark corn. Like, Here's a little corn niblet. <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm almost done with the fruit but I wanted to get back to showing you guys the, the rest of the fruit that um, we got and like I was saying I know we won't get back into the camera this is called an ice cream fruit this is called an ice cream fruit but to me they should name it cotton candy fruit because that's what it looked like it looks like a piece of cotton to me, it doesn't look like ice cream, and it most definitely don't taste like ice cream. It tastes like cotton candy. It's really good. I really like it. Maybe if you eat it cold. Let me try it. Oh, okay. And then these are the black seeds that come in the cotton candy fruit. But yeah, and so then we end up getting some of these. Uh, what is this? Uh, <laughs> Bolivian mango sting. A Bolivian mango sting. And to, I had something like this when I was in Honduras, and it's kind of like a tart flavor, but it's a tart grassy flavor with a hint of sweetness. Let me see if I can open it. How do you open it? Like bite it? I think you can. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's tart. And, and it has that custardy, like, texture to it. What? Mmm. It's so sweet. I like that. Mm -hmm. And when you get to them, you want to taste it? Got them? You want to taste it? Baby muffin. No? You don't taste that? I always want to see Zen's teeth. He got little teeth. Show him little teeth. Okay, don't pucker your face. And he's like, no, they can't see my teeth. See, look like at those little teeth. He's covering it up. Yeah, he's Ooh. like, no. He said, no, y'all can't see his teeth. Okay. I had to take a picture of that. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I don't like it. I like that Mmm. 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 You don't like it. Okay. And so then we have dragon fruit. We got some dragon fruit. It's now, it's, oh, you got. I was gonna ask you, did you get this is the, the one that's white on the inside? This is the one that's white on the inside, and then this is the one that is what purple. Mm -hmm. Purple. You wanna hold it? Oh, you're such a big boy. Use both hands. Use both hands. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. And then we got, what's this, turmeric? Yeah, it's turmeric. Some turmeric. It looks like ginger almost. Same thing. And then these look like the Ramatons, but they're not. They're something else. What are they called? I don't know. I forget what those are. Yeah, I forgot what these are called. Because um, even on the sign it says something like Ramatons. They don't related. even have it. Related it's to Ramatons. So they don't even have a name. But these are easier. You just crack it open like that. Okay, they got a small seed. And you just break it open. Oh, this guy's little flesh. And then it's got this little fleshy thing. <laughs> That's not a good one. I know, it's not a good one. But, mmm, it's sweet. But yeah, that's that's really good. I like that. And then, of course, we got more pineapple. Like I said, it's the white pineapple. Not that yellow acidy one. So yeah, y'all, that is all the stuff that we got. Let me show you. It's, it's pretty a mess. <laughs> I got like all this fruit. It was like a lot of fruit. Welcome everybody to the room. Yeah, it clicked a lot of y'all out because the connection was bad. So I want to show y'all all the fruit and things. I'm just spilling all the greens. 
Yep, so this is all the stuff that we got. It's a lot of stuff. It's a mess, I know, it's a mess. I'm a mess. It's okay. Yep, and the greens are in the bag. Yeah. Let's see if I can put that put this back. So yes. And then a drink that I've been making because we had a lot of pineapple. What I've been doing, it kind of it's kind of like ginger beer, but not ginger beer. Um, but I got the pineapple skins and I got ginger, and then I had some cinnamon sticks, and I'll boil it and I'll boil it down and it makes this juice, and then I put like a little honey in it, and it's really good. Mm. You showing this fruit? It's really good. This one kind of this one reminds me of this fruit. Yeah. Because it has these, like more grassy. Yeah, it's to me it is the same fruit. Like this this fruit and this fruit is the same fruit. Except for this has more flesh and it's shaped differently. But I remember eating these when I was in Honduras and it's so funny that they came back to my reality again because I really liked that tree when I was eating off of the um fruit. And then Rambo and I got this big old banana rack. This thing is huge. We got that out of our yard. And so we just have an abundance of fruit. So what I'm going to do with all the bananas, let me show you. What I'm going to do with all these bananas is probably make banana bread. See, look at that. Look at that rack. It's huge. I'm going to make banana bread. And probably we do we're doing smoothies like every day. We're doing smoothies like every day, and um, I've been eating bananas and pe peanut butter. Like whatever I can do with bananas, that's what I've been trying to do. Cause it's a lot of bananas. But yes, and so also what we wanted to do today, cause Rainbow has launched something amazing, and it kind of went hand in hand because today we went to the farmers market, and I told him I was like I want to show everybody all the fruit we got because we've been eating a lot of fruit okay and it also coincidentally he launched his app which is called harvester market and it's about exactly what i was talking about and so i wanted to show you guys all the fruit because the app that rainbow has launched it goes hand in hand with the farmer's market and with fruits and vegetables and how it's such an abundance of it and that we should share. And he found a cool way of how we will be able to connect with the fruits and vegetables and really be abundant together. So if you want to talk to them about that, Rimbo, oh, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I hold you, little babies. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is my prop. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the app, we just released the app uh, yesterday. I'm trying to say Oh, yeah, you can turn it on. Um, we just released the app yesterday, and it's available on the Google Play Store and on the App Store. And it's very simple right now. Basically, uh, it's just a lot. It's a platform that allows people to share food with each other. So a lot of people out here have food that they grow, and a lot of the times they don't eat it. It just goes to waste or it just rots on the floor because there's not really a platform out here to share food like that. So what we came out with is uh, I have an engineer friend. He's a software engineer, and we created this app that allows people to have a platform where we could share food. It's called Harvester Market and the tagline is share abundance because there's an abundance out here. So, you know, I think people should share it, you know. We, like we just harvested some bananas. I just gave some bananas to some guests here because there's no way we're going to eat all those bananas before they go bad. Even if we're just making smoothies and all that, you know, there's still room for us to share. You know, we got some other bananas that are already ripening up. We, there's so much food growing like we got like three avocado trees like I know yeah. we're gonna have abundance of avocados to the point where we're gonna be looking for people to give them to or sell them to or whatever but this app allows people to post their stuff set a schedule you so you basically you log in you create an account and um, you set like a market schedule so everybody has their own little market right uh, and it's at your house you set your own schedule your own times when people could come and pick produce up and um, you just link it to your bank account and and you create your market and then people come and pay for it. You get a notification on your phone. You get a text message, and then they come by and pick it up. And it's just like that. So simple, and, all, and everything is digital, you know. And this new day, day and age, there's no reason why we shouldn't be using the tools like technology to yeah. create more of a community, more of awareness about growing food. This is what it's about. Like, grow your own food. Like, encouraging everybody to grow their own food. Because if we all grow our own food, 
you grow a crop, I grow a crop, we all grow different crops, and we come together and we can share, and we, it becomes a shared economy, and it, we just create something called food sovereignty, which means we don't got to rely on the government or corporations to give us food, we can just in, exchange with each other, you know, and that's really what I want to get, encourage people to do, is to grow food for each other, to exchange with each other, and this is the perfect platform to do it, so if you don't have the app yet, uh, it's called Harvester Market, this is what it looks like. That's that's the logo. I don't know if you can see it. It's called Har but just look it up. It's on the Play Store and on um, the App Store. Harvester Market. Make an account right now. Like I said, it's version 1.0. So there's some bugs to fix that we're working on. Actually, as we speak, as soon as I get done with this live, I gotta go in and fix these bugs with my um, engineer friend. So um, just let us know if there's anything that's that's not working. You know, send us a mes message or email us just so we can make it better, you know, and as time goes by, it's going to get better and better and better, and it's just going to become more and more legit. But right now, we just want to put it out there and get people to start using it. So if you know anybody that's a farmer, or is that anybody that's just even growing food in their backyard, gardener, and that wants to share with other people, tell them about the app and, you know, tell them to download it and put their produce on there. So, yeah, that's that's basically all I uh, have to say about that, but just check it out. Um, and if you haven't yet followed Harvester Market on Instagram, that's, it's at, at Harvester Market. All right. Um, you got anything else you want to say? <laughs> yeah, and I'm hoping like this drives prices down because even in Hawaii, like it could be pretty expensive for stuff. And I think there's still room for farmers to make the amount that they need to make to to have a you know steady income. But because sometimes the food goes to waste, they have to increase yeah. the prices because you know. They yeah. don't sell as quickly as they would like to, but this is going to ensure that there's always somebody there to buy it. And a lot of times when tourists come too, they don't really know where to find fruit, or they kind of they, they want to connect with the local people. So if this is a, be an app where they can just pull up your location and search anything 10, 20 miles around you that's fruit that you want to go and pick up yeah. from that person, you know. So, Do y'all yeah. have any questions before we go about anything, about the app? Okay, Miss Yaya. Hey, Joker. Yeah. 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 Zen's ready to go. Yeah, because he was pretty good. Like, he was in his little um, chill spot. And then he's like, all right, y'all. Oh, yeah, Zen right here. I was trying to let him see y'all, but I don't think he wants to. You want to look at the camera? Look, man. <laughs> Like I'm over it. The show. Yep. Uh. Oh, awesome. Yep. So you know, just continue to hit this sub. We're about to go back out. Enjoy the day. Peace, everyone. I miss everyone. Yeah. If you have any questions or concerns, you know, hit me up in my inbox. And Rainbow, is, he's still doing the graphic design, so if y'all have any logos, y'all trying to build your own business, hit Rambo up. If y'all want astrology reading or just want to talk, hit me up. <laughs> All right. All right. Peace. All right.